Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing a film called Rise. It is not a Nollywood film, but it's a film about Nigerians, made by Nigerians. So I decided to review it because I loved it so much. And going forward, I'll be reviewing non Nollywood films like African films made by Nigerians, made by Africans. I'll be reviewing documentaries also. And who knows what other thing I'll be reviewing, but that's just a new development. So today I'll be talking about Rise. My name is Faustina. If you're watching me for the first time or you're, or you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for watching. Click on the subscribe button right down below. Leave a thumbs up on this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Share this video with your friends and ask them to join in on our conversation. They said I didn't belong that it was impossible. Look at us jammed by the rookie! That we'd never make it. It is a very special night for the Atanakupo family. That we couldn't have an impact. But we knew together, we couldn't lose. Rise is the story of the famous Ante Tokumbo brothers who are doing really well in the world of basketball. Well, this story emphasizes more on Giannis Ante Tokumbo, who is one of the greatest NBA players of all time. Well, four out of the five Ante Tokumbo brothers actually play basketball professionally and they have made history to be one of the first sibling no they are, they are the first sibling trio to actually win the NBA championship. That is totally huge. Do you hoop? Hoop? Basketball. Show what play? Papa always talks about opportunity. What if this is it? So this film details how their parents, Charles and Veronica, and Tito Kumbo, had to leave their firstborn son in Nigeria to relocate to Greece to start a new life and build a future for their family. While in Greece, they had four children, which are, which are Giannis, Thanasis, Alex, and Kostas. And also, they had to struggle to earn a living as undocumented immigrants. Not only that, they were constantly looking over their shoulders to avoid being caught by the police and deported in Nigeria. So this film captures all of this. It also captures how the brothers fell in love with basketball, how they discovered basketball, fell in love with basketball, how they struggled to thrive in the basketball league and how they got into the NBA against all odds. The director is Akio Motosho. Uche Agada plays um, Giannis and Raul Agada plays Thanasis. Their parents were played by Dayo Okeniyi, he plays Charles, and Yetide Badaki plays Veronica. If we're good, we can help mom and dad. When one person in the family scores, the whole family scores. <laughs> So Rise happens to focus more on Giannis Adeto Kumbo. Going forward, I'll call them Adeto Kumbo because that's their real son name and it's so much easier for me to pronounce. Anyways, Giannis happens to be the most popular and most successful of his brothers and he's also one of the executive producers of this film. He's also the first person to join the NBA, so you can imagine, like, he's the leader of this league of basketball legends and all that. I love that this film showed a lot about their family. We saw their family values. We saw them stick together as a family unit. We saw what binds them, how their, how their parents transferred their certain beliefs and philosophies to their children, certain convictions to their children. One of the phrases that you will find being said a lot in this film is, when one person scores, everybody scores. And I think that belief took their family really far, took them to, took, is what, that's what I believe is what took their family to the heights where they are right now, you know? You're illegal immigrants. We can get you all sent back home. This is our home. This biography of the Adeto Kumbo family, this story of theirs, is really inspiring and emotional to watch. It's a very typical grass to grace story, which I recommend that everyone should watch. What is more beautiful for me is the execution of the story. Execution in terms of production design, in terms of cinematography, in terms of the sound design, everything about the production is wow big ups to every nigerian particularly every nigerian every african that was on this project um the agadas the agada brothers the um 
Oche Agada and Raul Agada being on this project, it was huge. Um, Yeti Day, Balaki, and um, and um, Dayo Okini playing Veronica and Charles was really awesome. Love to the director for making this film wonderful, for bringing all of these elements together to do this very wonderful film. I also enjoyed seeing um, Nigerian actors in this film. Um, Aki Omoto Show himself as a director acted in the film and Kemi Lala Akindoju was also the Nigerian casting director acted in the film. You know, that was really beautiful. Joker Silva also was also in this film. I loved seeing all, this, for all the performances by all these actors. They were really, really great. I already mentioned that this film had excellent execution, right? So I'll break it down for you guys. First of all, with the sound design, the sound design was impeccable. It was excellent. It was beautiful. Like, I really enjoyed listening to all the Nigerian songs that were played, the contemporary hip-hop songs that were also used. It was, it was all in sync with the film. Nothing was out of place. I enjoyed that this film was a wonderful celebration of the African culture in terms of the production design. Now, you would notice that in the film they were intentional about making the, the home of the of the family look very, very African, you know, make, make them all look very African. I expect that in real life, when they were in Greece, they tried to blend into the Greek culture you know just to keep themselves hidden and not to be deported but i know for the sake of the film they had to make them african all the way and that was really really wonderful that was so good i also enjoyed that they intentionally celebrated african african sports stars in this film like these kids um Giannis and um Tenasis were watching other african other nigerian particularly nigerian um, basketballers or Nigerian people in sports that had made it also so that was that's like your own calling on to you you know that's you getting inspiration from your own not just from a foreigner that was really really beautiful visually this story was really really appealing the visuals were really wonderful the cinematographer the director made sure that the cinematography was spot on every shot every frame was really really a beautiful picture every shot told the story in a very very wonderful way and i feel that that is a lot that is excellent the one thing i did not like in this film was the fact that charles and veronica de tokumbo did not age a day throughout this film like they, their faces didn't change as time passed the only thing that changed about veronica was her hairstyle and Nothing changed about about Charles. That was really, really awkward. I don't know why the director allowed this pass, but I feel that no matter what, we should have seen the parents age one way or another in this film, but we didn't see any of that. But that doesn't take away from the story. That didn't spoil the story. Rise is streaming right now on Disney Plus, and it's a really, really wonderful film that I think you ought to watch. You ought to watch this film because it celebrates African culture, celebrates Africans doing great things in diaspora. It celebrates Nigeria and I'm really proud to be a Nigerian right now, you know. And I cannot wait for these people to change their name from Ante Tokumpo to Ade Tokumpo. You get so that's it for me. Um share your thoughts in the comment box below. Tell me what you think about this film. If you have not seen Rise, please feel free to see it right now. It's streaming on Disney Plus um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a thoughts in the comment box below. Share your thoughts about what you think about this film. My name is Faustina and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.